small micro enterprises are an important source for community social and economic stability in terms of overall wealth creation and employment opportunities for women youth and those with limited skills and capital in particular they are spread across the settlement areas covering locations disadvantaged by access to workspaces poor infrastructure and marginalized by the authorities Micro and small enterprises are largely run by people who do not have collateral to secure loans, to, to take up, to buy land and to put up property on their own. The promotion of small micro enterprises, efficiency and dynamism can thus yield increase in social and economic returns for virtually all small traders and business in the society. Healing Kenya Through Trade is a project that sought to intervene in the small micro-enterprises recovery for business affected during the 2007 post-election violence. Immediately after the post-election violence, we decided to undertake an initiative to support the small businesses that had been affected. Quite a number of the burning targeted businesses and uh, most of the small traders lost their workspaces. So we decided to take a one-time initiative to rebuild the workspaces or the market sheds that the small traders were using uh, to undertake their trading business, which is still in line with our, uh, uh, with our mission, which is to support small business to create wealth in the country. Because when they, when they lost their sheds, it meant they were not contributing to wealth creation in the country, and that's why we took this initiative. With funding from Ford Foundation, the Kenya Gatsby Trust implemented a pilot project with the partnership of the Kenya Private Sector Alliance and the Kenya Institute of Management. The beneficiary partners were the Municipal Councils of Kisumu, Municipal Council of Busia and the County Council of Molo. These workspaces that we have been putting up benefit not only the traders themselves, but because of um, the sense in which the, these people are, come from larger communities in terms of families, we have found that um, the beneficiaries are the person's immediate family. They also uh, create employment because uh, we found that on average, on average, the MSCs working from these shades will create at a minimum one job, but at a maximum going up to five jobs. Um, so, so in terms of employment, they help create employment and then also they help create an income for the immediate family. The project supplements the wider strategy by the government on the resettlement of internally displaced people after the violence to enhance the process of creating lasting peace by enabling communities to interact through exchange of goods and services. When you bring people to trade together, we believe as they interact, that inter tribal interaction at that market center creates cohesion in communities. And that's what we would like to encourage people that look, uh, the biggest problem in this country is not tribes, but we need to get more wealth for all of us to uh, you know, partake of it. And that's why we're encouraging people. That they, we need to get as many tribes, as many people also gender, you know, women and youth, to operate and, and do business together. In that way, they create, uh, you know, a cordial relationship between, uh, you know, between the communities that are working under those sheds. The local authorities facilitate a great deal in the success of the reconstruction of former open-air market spaces that used to be dusty and poorly organized to now modern workspaces that have better structures and protect the users from harsh weather conditions. Everything has been quite so good, bearing in mind that we were actually burning out in the hot sun. Now we have got shelters which are actually uh, helping us a great deal. They also attract many customers, unlike previously where customers were few because they couldn't have places they could sit in. The traders in Manyata Market in Kisumu, Taxi Park Market in Busia, and the main public market in Molo are now enjoying the modern market workplaces. We would use our criteria now to select a market. For example, when we went to Kisumu, we were given a list of five markets to choose from. 
And using our criteria and the priority of the, uh, the council, we selected uh, one market, Manyata market, because it was closest to our criteria. And after that, we would now develop the market structure in a formal manner. This then organized the, 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 the traders into a formal group. This is a market for peace. We are hurt, and I know this market is going to bring back some hope to Manyata. In Kisumu, we made sure that uh, they got registered, the beneficiaries, about eight of them. They got registered into a business member organization. They even opened business accounts. They are contributing towards the improvement of that market and uh, working towards other amenities like water, electricity, latrines and the like. Hapa, ilikuwa pali pa kutupa takataka. Na sasa tulikuwa pale ndani ya soko. Sasa vile tumetoka huko ni kama tumeprospa sasa. Wengine wataingia hapa hata wenye wako kuwa wanafanya chochote. At least wamefanya wamepata kitu ambapo watafanya. Kama watu wenye wako ndani ya soko wataingia mali hapa. At least nafasi itapatikana hapo na kila mama ama kila mbaba ama kila youth watapata kitu ya kuweka hata kama ni nyanya yake tutapata hii nafasi. In Busia, the market is located less than one kilometer from the Kenya-Busia border and it acts as a major entry and exit point of goods and services from Kenya and Uganda. This park has brought peace in our municipality because municipality is a cosmopolitan town carrying many tribes and after the elections, the skirmishes uh, brought in a lot of enmity and uh, when these sheds were brought up we find ourselves gathered together doing businesses of various uh, of various items and then uh, the interaction in between brings them better relationship and uh, it brings peace in our town the interborder business was disrupted but now, many market users are optimistic that their business is going to improve through these peace market initiatives. Tunatarajia wateja wengi zaidi, manake tunawonekana wazi. Yeyote anayepita hata kama haku anatarajia kufanya kazi fulani inambidi, rasa anaona, ainamvutia maramoja anakuja. Kwa hivyo, itatusaidia zaidi kuimarisha biyashara sana. Kwa sababu inatupatia access kwa watu wengi ambao hata tukwa tumetarajia kwa wakati fulani. Residents of Busia express their joy through song and dance and promise to preach peace across the border and welcome other communities who use the market and those on transit without discrimination. Molo Peace Market is at the center of the town and is well placed to absorb the shocks of ethnic tensions and violence that have characterized the town over the years. Since 1922, Molo has been a flashpoint for the ethnic, ethnic uh, violence. And when we start this as a project for the council and together with Guts by Trust, we are promising to do much more to, to improve the, the status of our market and also to promote peace in, the, in, in, in this region. Every time we look at the project, we will be remembering what it stands for, and that is peace. Because uh, following the post-election violence, many people lost their livelihoods. And uh, anything to reinstate that back is uh, highly welcome. And we appreciate and thank Kenya Gatsby Trust and uh, Molo Town Council for especially promoting income generating projects here in Molo.
The market was launched in style by having a 10-kilometer peace race organized in conjunction with the Athletics Kenya office, Molo Branch, to demonstrate peace and reconciliation among the residents of Molo and return to business. The peace rally coupled with the, the way people have intermingled from the different communities and the peace message which has been spread all over because it, in, it seems to, to be the main theme of the of the initiative has greatly shown people the, the, the need to have peace. To Likimbia Vizuri, to Kamaliza Vizuri, what work you on a fra? No, 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 in a letter, a man, a mole of it. Iliju Moisha, Kabila, Kabila Ningi, na Tulifraya Kakushirkiana Pamoja. Under the management of the beneficiary local authorities, in consultation with the traders, and the community in general, the opportunities the project is going to give to the small micro enterprises in these areas will go a long way to increase awareness on issues of peace and business development and emphasize the importance of a good working environment. We are working with the local authorities because they own the land. They are the ones who actually have the mandate to build market structures for business people and of course, you know, tax them for that. So we've worked across the country with local authorities. We are, we are very, very hopeful that we'll uh, you know, roll out workspaces across the country, uh, you know, targeting small businesses. The future of this program, so that it is sustainable, will be built on the bedrock of it being a, a totally business proposition. And therefore, as we think of upscaling it, we are looking at establishing a, a rotating fund whereby we have various donors pulling in money and then we are able to give uh, low cost loans to, to micro and small enterprises which will, which will enable them to use the workspace as, a, as collateral because that is one of the challenges that uh, micro and small enterprises have. We learned a number of things and uh, amongst them is that there is a dire need for workspace in Kenya not just as a peace initiative but as an economic need. Most of the small traders in Kenya have no place to work from. When you look at the wars that take place between hawkers and the city council, all that problem is about workspace. The workspaces will make traders to be more competitive in meeting the challenges of progressive economy, therefore encouraging other organizations to give support in workspace development to improve the livelihoods of public market traders. There will be increased productivity and quality on goods and services, making these markets act as common resource centers for business in the regions and promoting entrepreneurship among women and youth by building their recognition and credibility to have a successful business. The small scale traders will have permanent sheds for their business which will allow them to come for bigger roles and do better. It's common knowledge that people from different cultural and social backgrounds meet in markets to buy and sell goods like foodstuffs. Therefore, peace messages through daily transactions will improve the awareness and the importance of peace and keep all the communities united under these sheds for economic and social cultural development. The impact is very definite in terms of um, providing workspace for who don't have workspace. The project has been so well received by the communities. Um, the women are excited, they're dancing. The local authorities have been, though challenging due to bureaucratic processes, but they have been very cooperative in, 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 in accessing and enabling us access workspace. It's exciting to see at a launch to see the eventual beneficiaries dancing and I know um, that will be the experience over and over again as we go through the country putting up washes as we so look forward to doing. It's a model that fits the paradigm of the high discipline among the people and communities staying and using the markets. Kenya, God Sabi, Trust uh, has come up with a very innovative idea linking up development and, uh, and the peace, but specifically trade and the peace. 
in order to assure that there will be peace, we need development and we need the businesses to thrive.